in asp.net core web api we can return data from the controller action method in three different ways in this video we will discuss about specific type we can return any type of uh, primitive data or complex data from the action method directly for example uh, i want to return boolean value so i can use boolean type void integer string etc along with this i can return any kind of complex data now um, in this application we have three controllers inside this controllers folder since we are using the same application that we have created in our asp.net core video series now let me add one more folder in this application folder name will be models inside this models folder let's create one class employee model then click add here let's add few more properties um, properties first data type is integer then property name is id then second properties data type string then property name is name that's it now use this employee controller here let's remove this action methods from here here we'll create simple action method public string method name will be get employees here we will start from primitive data type so we can return string directly from this action method return let's say all employees that's it see the base route here first we have to append api then controller name save this uh, application and run this app append the url here first api then employee press enter see here we got the output message from this method now let's stop the execution instead of this string return type we can use boolean integer and etc now let's return some complex data instead of this string so replace this string with uh, employee model that we have created now add the namespace then we will return the complex data here return new employee model your id will be 1 then name let's say emp1 that's it save and run this app again here refresh this page here we got the output now go back to visual studio stop the execution now we can return a um, list of all the employees for that we can use list type here Here also return new list of employee model. Here we'll declare new employee model. Sorry, here ID will be one comma name emp1 put comma copy this line and pasting below that you are change the id as 2 and emp2 two, employee 2 now save this and run this app again refresh this page 
here we got the uh, json output with a list of two employees now stop the execution now we can use uh, i enableable here now let me add one more employee here change the id as 3 and emp3 save and run this app refresh this page here we got the output with uh, three employees again go back to visual studio stop the execution if you are working with asynchronous programming then you can use I async enableable here. Here we got the error because we have to use async keyword over here. Then we have to update this code also. Here instead of return, let's declare a variable where list employees equal new list of employee model here let me add one more employee for understanding purpose id will be 4 then employee 4 we are getting the list of employees in this variable now let's use for each loop here in this collection variable we have to paste it replace this collection variable with this list employees variable now return item yield return item that's it save and run this app now refresh this page here we got the uh, list of four employees uh, using this specific type we can return any primitive data types from action methods such as integer, string, boolean, etc. Uh, second point is we can return complex data object such as employee, student, product, etc. We can return collection of objects like list. Um, we can also return i enable and i async enable types. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thanks for watching this video.